how to make things look pretty. This is one of the most requested videos. So I'm gonna do this one in different parts. So all of the videos will be focused on how to make things look pretty, but they'll each contain a different challenge for you to try. Super easy movements, but as we know, it's not really about what tricks you're doing, it's how you're doing it. So I've kept this really simple for the first one and then keep an eye out for the, for the next um, challenges as well. So we're just gonna work on a momentum spin around the pole or around the world spin, but we're gonna talk about how to make it look good because I think a lot of the time our brain tries to think about the end result of the movement and we just go to that rather than thinking about that everything that happens before it and after it is just as important in bringing it all together um, because it can it can look like you relax or you're kind of offline and then all of a sudden you hit the trick rather than it being just everything looks like it was meant to be together so that's what we're going to work on and it's harder than you think so that's why i've kept this one easy because if you do it correctly this should be challenging for anybody so all we're going to do is take one step this is what we want one step into the spin and around now i'm going to talk you through how i'm doing that and how i make it look different to just going like this like that because that just looks like i did the spin it doesn't really make you want to watch what's coming next it doesn't bring you in there is a way to do this and it involves our muscles <laughs> so if you think about how your muscles feel when you're underwater you you kind of there's like tension behind them to move them through the environment the thing that is the problem is that we have air right so our, our limbs kind of move through it really easily rather than having to work for it so the first thing that we're going to do is focus on this free arm feeling like it's going through water so we step this arm it's going to lead from the shoulder a lot of beautiful arm movements if there's no specific choreography if you lead from the shoulder followed by the elbow it's kind of like rippling down your arm like you've got water running off your arm and you're trying to stop it from going off so uh, it's going down it's going down i'm like no 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 <laughs> like that um, rather than just putting the arm out it's going to make it look a lot nicer so let's think about the water the two water analogy so we've got water running down the arm but we're also creating this tension like like we're pressing through the air like the air is thick so as i step it comes up and around so i'm engaged my whole body is engaged it's not just a part of your body that's doing the actual spin it's everything going through here i can feel all of this i can even feel the rest of my core engaging to make that arm look like it has a purpose. Now this is a lot more work, but obviously well worth the result because things look amazing when you put this extra effort into them. So do that again. We step, come around, and you can add your own flair. It doesn't have to be this water trickling movement. Maybe you wanna do it some other different way, but the thing is it needs to have something to do. It can't just go like, nothing it can't be offline and then kind of online for half a second and then come come back offline it has to be on the whole time now the next thing is if you notice how i step into the movement i'm thinking about that as well so there's tension through my leg my arm comes up and then i go so even just that first step into it has its own energy it has its own strength and it will depend how you want to dance like you can sort of you can make things light you can make things heavier there's the entire range but what it all has in common is that every single part of it is considered it's not just thrown away like oh it doesn't matter how i get up the pole and we will get to doing exercises like that but as i said for today i wanted to keep this one really simple because it's so freaking hard <laughs> so we step out now you notice that my obviously this leg that goes around is working but as soon as my other leg so this one comes around as soon as this leg comes off the ground it has its own life it has its own energy it has its own strength 
So watch again. Step round and then it comes off and it keeps going. It has, it has a movement that it like brings your eye to it. So if my eye is firstly watching the arm followed by the leg and this is all, your eye is kind of drawn to these two here. Then as I go around and then this one comes off, the eye follows that one. So it's just a matter of which parts of the body are available to be engaged and working and make sure all of them are doing something. Because obviously when you're spinning on this leg, there's not much more for it to do other than be up on the leg, right? The artistry or the, the beauty is kind of made up by all those extra movements that don't really have a technical purpose. They're the ones that are free to do whatever they wanna do, but sometimes we lose that because we're just flapping around like we're in the air. So I want you to try as many as you want on each side, but maybe try five and see not so much about, that's why I say it doesn't, doesn't really matter how many you're doing on each side, it just matters more so the quality of what you're doing. Um, so start with these. If you like this, please let me know because I'll, I'll make this a whole series and we'll go through all lots of different movements and how to make them look beautiful. This is just obviously probably one of the very first spins that you'll ever learn. And hopefully I've just broken this down in a way that makes you go, oh, I need to work on that spin more than I thought that I had for the last 10 years. <laughs> so hopefully this gives you something to, to work on with it, to make it beautiful, but it's easy enough that you're not, you're not um, exhausting your body to try to do it. So good luck and let me know how it goes, please.